Hello, everyone. My name is Oksana. It's wrote to Edwards, weekly Edwards Insider the 20s. And we deliver the news about the creation of our project, Edwards. So, as usual, could you, Tobogal-san, could you please start uh, the session today? Hi. Yes. So, oh, hi. Thank you, Oksana. Uh, hello, everybody. This is Hiro Tokugawa speaking, uh, wrote to Edwards. So, uh, so, this is a 20th, uh, 20th, so I'd like to make kind of a wrap up. Uh, is that now I've been talking about the function of barbers, okay? Uh, so you have to have the, the, uh, your, the top of your head shaved in one way or another, a man, okay? Uh, and if, you're, if you don't have your head shaved, it means that you are a suspicious person. Uh, and all samurai, and, and then the top knot, the chommage, uh, differed according to your uh, social standing, your rank. Uh, so if you're a samurai, you have it like this. Uh, and then if you're a commoner, you're like this. And then uh, all the samurai wore uh, kimono with the family crest of their uh, master, or either his or his master. And so, you see, in the city of Edo, anyone could see, and with a glance you could tell what that person, where he belonged to. And, uh, and also for everything you need a permit, just like in today's Japan. So in other words, Edo was the ultimate police city-state of the time. And which uh, brings us to the uh, really important question is that why did Tokugawa Ieyasu, the first shogun, the founder of the Edo shogun, Tokugawa shogunate, choose Edo, which was, uh, well, not a relative, but a, a serious backwater back then. I mean, he had to uh, create the land in order to make a city that could contain so many people. Uh, and there is already Odawara, which was the uh, capital for the uh, Hojo, uh, well, you could call it a kingdom, or Kamakura, which had a long history. Uh, yes, by then it was, what, 500 years old uh, as, as a city that was the political center of Japan. So, uh, and then, and th th and this also uh, connects us to the question about why so many developing countries have a hard time de developing at all. Is that uh, so? The thinking of Tokugawa Ieyasu was that you make a city from scratch, then it's easier to impose uh, really horrible rules to the people who would come in. And that was the thinking. So everyone apart from the uh, samurai uh, serving Tokugawa Ieyasu directly, would have to be newcomers. So uh, if they want to stay, then they had no choice but to follow the rules. Like you have to shave your head uh, and uh, you have to go to a licensed barber. Uh, and the barber had to give information to the shogun or you have to wear this and that clothes. Your head top knot has to be like this. Yeah, you, or each samurai had to carry two swords. Uh, all of this, uh, this was possible because not only was the shogun powerful, but because everyone was a newcomer in the city of Edo. And this should, this should be understood as a, bit, uh, as a very important lesson uh, for today's uh, developing uh, or what, emerging countries. You see, and, and then you look carefully like India, it's impossible to change the way people behave in a city of Mumbai, for instance, or even Delhi, uh, they have centuries of societal, societal history uh, by now. So you just can't change. So if you want to change, then set up a new capital and, or new city uh, where people won't have so many questions about how things are organized. Or otherwise, you have to become like the People's Republic of China, uh, which is a very serious and disturbing police state annoying practically everyone in the process of trying to enlighten them, enlighten, enlighten, enlighten them. Uh, so uh, to wrap up, so today's, uh, the Tokugawa Japan was pretty much like today's China, where everybody is graded according to their behavior. But since people came to the city of Edo uh, thinking that things are like that, uh, everyone was a newcomer, it was relatively easy to impose those measures on the population. And uh, this is why Tokugawa had to create a new city from scratch. So in order to transform uh, people's behavior or their culture, to put it uh, more precisely, uh, things had to be done uh, when people didn't have any, anything against those measures. And that was to create a new city from scratch. Okay, so that's all for today. And uh, so ne from next week, I would like to talk about the uh, public baths in the city of Edo. Okay, so thank you very much and bye-bye for this week.
Thank you very much, Takuhao san. And uh, next, again, could you please uh, continue our session today? Okay, thank you, Oksana, and hello, everybody. Uh, first of all, I'd like to appreciate it to all of the people who participate in our campaign in JPY. And also, I truly apologize for being patient uh, to wait by maybe 2, 2 p.m. Uh, because of the server. Uh, I didn't, we, we didn't expect that much access to the website. And uh, I was so surprised to see uh, the server was down. And then I put all, all of the tech resources to restore the server and the website, all of the tech resources, including blockchain, quickly, immediately. And then I repaired all of the things so that I could repair uh, the website and server uh, to 2 p.m. And then I uh, truly appreciate a lot of people uh, try to participate in our campaign. And then uh, ju just within 70 minutes, uh, all of the stuff we expected for, for Japanese CN campaign was sold out. It was so, so, so amazing. So, so amazing. It's so quick because I've experienced uh, many types of and many sorts of projects in ICO, IEO, IGO, IDO, a lot of things I did. This is the best project. That was so, so amazing. It was crazy, crazy. Anyway. And then, yes, we are about to launch uh, launch the campaign uh, of in, in USDC uh, on July 7th. And uh, we are also uh, about to launch uh, Coban and Zeni campaign as well. So uh, definitely this is based on blockchain. So it doesn't happen to uh, say like... Uh, uh, we 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 couldn't get we couldn't get the NFT blah 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 something like that because all of the transactions recorded on blockchain so no worry for that. But the thing is we have to uh, enhance the power. I, I mean enhance the uh, the feasibility of the front end side because it's uh, connected to the server. So uh, we learned a lot of things from that experience. So uh, I I think twenty or thirty times bigger than server is going to be provided to all of you. So I think no worries, even even a lot of access, like uh, 1 million access, even come to our website, we can beat them, no problem. So uh, anyway, so I feel safe anyway. And uh, yeah, I'd like to update a lot of things, like uh, we are really about to uh, launch the, the uh, trailer, uh, which is maybe two minutes. Uh, it's gonna be coming quite soon. And then we already agreed up on some ambassadors. And then we, of course, we cannot officially announce it because we uh, now prepare for some global global marketing strategy with our team, including in Malaysia, US, China, Hong Kong, globally. So the, the maximum impact should be done on this phase. Otherwise, you know, uh, it's not good. So uh, just be patient uh, for uh, for a couple more time. And then definitely we can show some great progress with it, maybe after July 7th, after July 7th. And then I got some questions from uh, many types of users, like uh, why, why uh, you, you should show some units or blah, 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 something. Uh, you, I mean, uh, how, how many units sold out in the web or something, but we cannot do that because all of the uh, NFTs is gonna be minted July 7th. So after July 7th, we finally can say uh, what types of units sold out, what types of, uh, uh, purchasing was done, blah, 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 something. Because after meeting, we finally can say. Before meeting, we cannot say. It just, we just get some, you know, inquiries and we want to buy something. That's why. That, that's all right. So before that, we cannot say anything. So please uh, be patient until that, until then. And then uh, for tech side, maybe after this sales campaign, we finally can move to uh, realize the real metaverse. Have you seen the short trailer? It was so, so amazing. It, it's crazy. It's like real, real world, I think. I, I want to move to Edelbus from Malaysia anyway. Tomorrow, maybe. So I, I'd like to keep this quality even, you know, like 1 million people uh, access to the metaverse at the same time. Uh, of course, we have to, you know, manage and maintain a lot of servers, uh, service matters, or blockchain matters, or something like that. But I think we can show some testing demo uh, within a couple of months so that maybe you, all of you can understand what I'm saying. I think we can get some, at least 1,000 or 2,000 residents in any of us quite soon, I think, within this year. I hope so. Uh, so, okay, so let's, let's, let's move to uh, any of us from Japan, from real world. And I'd like to see all of you in any of us and have drinks. Yeah, thank you so much.
Thank you very much, Ken. I'm, I will start packing my things to move to <laughs> Thank course. you so much. Yes, yes. Please <laughs> so, don't forget kimono. Please don't forget kimono. Yes, sure. And you, you <laughs> promised me katana, I remember. Oh, of course, I can give you, I can give you that. I can give you that, no problem. <laughs> thank that, you. The best sword, best sword I can give you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Also, uh, Mitsushi, could you please uh, uh, participate in our talk today? Yes. Thanks. Uh, this is Mitsushi talking. So today I'm going to talk about three topics. Uh, first of all, about YouTube. Uh, one, we started activating our own YouTube channel, Adverse YouTube channel. So we recorded a talk session between Kurata-san and Matsuda-san. And uh, I'm, I was planning to release uh, eight videos every day consecutively. So currently the number of uh, registrants in the uh, YouTube channel reached has reached 500. It will soon reach 1,000. Uh, two, we released the trailer, the first official trailer of Adverse, the high quality visual of Edibus uh, was spread out to the world. And over 3,000 people, 3,400 people views the Edibus project trailer. So that means there are, I, we got a lot of great reactions already from the public. So we will continue to activate our own YouTube channel I, in order to appeal to both a global audience and a Japanese audience. That means that we will have English talk sessions soon. And the second topic is about uh, Twitter. So. Uh, you know, uh, the number of followers has reached uh, 2,582 organically. This is really important. We didn't spend any budget for uh, Twitter marketing. This, this is all organic transaction. That means that the word of mouth about the project has uh, widely spread out already. Uh, we are gaining a lot of great uh, response and feedback about uh, Land NFT and also the visual of the Edwards. I think even before, uh, 7th of July, uh, you know, the number of followers will reach uh, 3,000 organically. I think this is a great signal and harbinger for the success of the project. Finding, finally, about the Discord campaign. So we are running several Discord-related campaigns in order to activate our community. And a lot of people, including a global audience, uh, have joined the Discord uh, community uh, activation campaign. So, uh, you know, currently we are gradually organizing and you know organizing and creating our own solid community for Edwards. I think these uh, comprehensive marketing and promotion is really important key for success of these projects. So we will continue to run several campaigns in our, our community channel and social media channel. Uh, this is update from me. Even after, so it's the 7th of July, we will have online event about land NFT in Edwards. Uh, there we will have even much more attention from the public uh, you know, including global market and uh, domestic market. Uh, so I, I'm really looking forward to joining the events online, the monthly Edwards Insider in 7th of July. That's all from me, thanks. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Tushi. And uh, next, uh, Dominique, uh, may I give you a word? Yep, yep. Uh, thank that actually in the last week on the 1st of July, the first Japanese yen land NFT sale um, there was actually a, a big policy about the delay of the start because we just planned from the 12 noon. But uh, yeah, as I mentioned, there was too much success that, that we found some vulnerability in the system. Um, and then uh, we just fixed that. I think it took a lot of two hours. Um, there was a little shame. But um, after this, uh, um, just after just uh, um, the sales started, the people really get us really excited because the too many people just you know are getting into this uh get, get, getting into these applications and this is just only for the application period um allowance yeah it's a big number of the japanese uh en uh, uh portions actually were already but you know uh 70 minutes later it was sold out means that you know the old applications is actually finished. So um allowance this time we thought we that in the 9690 uh, uh, land NFTs that we are selling. Um and then uh, um, uh, among those that are this time of the portion that we cannot just mention exactly, but um, total portion of those that the around actually just around half of those actually was already just the sort of things that I think that was very, very happy things. And then um, um, we are now uh, just waiting for the 7th of July, but this is uh, the, uh, the global uh, 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 
a global ecosystem uh, uh, thinks that it's not a set of sales in Japan. So um, don't actually uh, misunderstand uh, that that this is that this is a sale in Japan. This is a totally just a selling into the ecosystem, just on a global basis, uh, in um, um, in blockchains. So uh, uh, now we are uh, really uh, expanding our marketing on, on a global basis, just like in Asia and in, in America and in Europe. Um, we, we hope that the many people just from the overseas is coming into this uh, the sale. But of course, we have just enough portion to uh, to sell just in, a, in the land NFTs, and also um, we're just preparing the really small portion of a uh, 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 Zeni uh, the token. So the Zeni token is actually this is this going to be a really memorial sale. This is the first uh, deployment of the Zenis, and then people can just you know can hold it at even at this very small portion. This is a, the first uh, deployed Zeni token that and the people can just get it. Yeah, that's going to be very exciting too. So um, please just uh, the, the look at this time that this in this case I think this is a not sort of uh, 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 the kind. Uh, uh, system, the kind sort of explanation that we can make because this is not a totally that in the global thinks that in every language is English. So um, uh, we, we we cannot just prepare for just in a Japanese language version much, but you know, someone might might help us. Um, at least that I hope that many people uh, can join uh, the 7th of July and, and talk and sell and also the land NFTs just in the blockchain. And then um, after the this 7th of July, we are preparing for many events. The first event should be, uh, the, the, the next should be uh, not the land NFT, this, the next should be the two NFT, just in the, in the games. So uh, once uh, we just start uh, Edobus uh, GameFi, um, people can just play just with the tools, uh, just, uh, NFT, two NFTs, just uh, to do something, just to play in the games. So uh, we just launched it there from August, and then uh, September that we might see some very amazing avatars, just for the famous, uh, the ancient name, uh, the older name of a uh, a famous name of a um, uh, person. Uh, uh, we still don't fix it yet, but um, uh, we are really looking forward. Just you know, having the creating this world, building up a world, just is one is a step by steps, um, um, and then uh, people can just enjoy the game in the futures. So. Um, this time uh, we had a little confusion that on the first was right, but you know that next next time should be. I think I hope that it's okay. Um, now every, everything is ready, and um, then please just uh, coming into this coming into the cell um, just in the, on the seventh of July. So thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Dominique, and really looking forward for the 7th of July. And uh, thank you everyone for support and uh, that everything was sold out so very quickly. So thank you, and I will uh, hear you and uh, meet you next week. Goodbye.